Hi guys, this is Hannah and uh, the beginning of a build of a ball python's enclosure. You can see all the stuff that I'm gonna use. No need to use as much paint as I do. If you don't like to paint, you can go with less. But this is just to give you some ideas and maybe to give you some inspiration. So we start with a piece of slate. This is a pretty big piece of slate, but ball pythons tend to get big. Uh, some insulation board, uh, great stuff foam. We cut the piece to size. Um, you can go a little bit bigger, uh, but I would not recommend to go so, um, smaller. Then you cut the uh, middle out so that the ball python can get some heat through the stone because insulation form is gonna insulate. You can go ahead and do uh, like whole walls wherever the base is gonna touch the enclosure. I'm gonna do posts. This is what I like to do to give my uh, snake as much space underneath as I can. Um, spray foam, as usually, you just spray it, you foam it in, and then you build the whole structure with the foam. After approximately 10 minutes you've foamed it in, you can go ahead and um, the foam is going to be tack free and you can just um, compact it a little bit like I'm doing here. Um, I like to compact it because it's better uh, to cut and it doesn't have those holes and doesn't have this spongy structure if you do so. And I'm going to build my arches. So I'm going for an old look. Um, this is what my arches are looking. Um, and I decided to spice it a little bit up by doing an old portal. So if you don't want to do an old portal, you just skip this part and go straight to dry locking um, and painting. For those who want to spice it a little bit up, so this is my foam base. I'm tracing the stones that I'm gonna cut with um, a knife or um, a pan. Like whatever you have um, at hand, everything will work. No need to buy special tools it's very easy to do so. So um, a piece of my structure I'm gonna do with uh, some uh, clay. It's gonna be oven bake clay, so I have to bake it in the oven. So that's why I have uh, the Reynolds wrap there, because this is what's gonna hold my structure. I cannot place um, styrofoam in the oven. It's gonna melt, it's gonna stink, and it's gonna set on fire. That's why uh, I came with the idea of using some aluminum foil and now as you can see I can uh, build the fine part of the portal. This involves uh, a little bit of imagination. I'm not gonna do something very tricky or so. I have some uh, glow-in-the-dark um, stones here that I'm gonna incorporate because I want my portal to glow. And uh, well yeah you can see me working here. Uh, you can skip this part if you don't want to go in such detail. This is all up to you. I'm just trying to inspire you. I'm gonna work like that for a while, so see you later when my structure is baked and we're gonna place it on the portal itself. So now my structure is baked, I can just uh, silicone it in. And this is fine, like mm, silicone will hold it. It's all okay. It's gonna be pretty snug in there. So I went a little bit overboard and I did a little tiny uh, piece, a broken piece of the portal that I'm gonna use, I don't know where, um, maybe somewhere laying next to it and you can see me um, doing that. Now, dry lock original some quick red um, to make it this look this dark um, and you just paint everything like all the little little um, crevices there like just like that so for those little two pieces that i haven't painted i'm gonna do some mossy structure so you mess with some um, silicone you press some of the remains uh, from carving and this is how you get your tree structure or your moss structure or whatever vines you want to create. So you mess, you spread, you press. Pretty much it. Very straightforward. 
course you have to paint them as well. So the painting part, this is the most abundant part. I have my golem, I want uh, to give my snake a body. So I want the colors be pretty much like the golem. Uh, first of all, I paint everything, all the structures that are not black, I paint them black because we want to go with the colors from the darkest color to the lightest one. Um, it's considering the stone. And then when you're done with the stone, you can go over and again, from the darkest to the lightest, paint uh, your green structures, your mosses and stuff like that. I do not use that much paint right here and right now. Uh, I like to see like what I mix and as you see, like I'm seeing if it's the same color as the golem. Um, the tricky part with uh, acrylic paint, it's always darker than it dries. When it dries, it gets lighter. So uh, don't be disappointed if you paint it, it's perfect and then it dries and it's too light. So you can paint and overpaint, um, like, I don't know, as much as you want until you're pleased with the colors. They're not gonna mix, they're gonna stay snug. Um, and after we're done, we're gonna seal it so that even if you spray some water, it's still gonna be there and nothing's gonna happen. So for now, uh, the video is in time lapse and I'm giving you time to look at it and maybe to get some ideas. Let's level up a little. Let's make the portal really shiny and look like a real portal. So we're gonna use some um, of the resin, the pour in resin, you can use any resin you want, uh, some fairy lights, you position them, you mix the resin, you pour it in. 
I am doing it in two steps. So the first step is just to hold uh, the fairy lights uh, in place. And the second one is gonna involve a lot of colors. So that I'm gonna uh, create like, mm, I would say bluish, maybe purplish uh, portal inside. So um, the bad thing about it, um, between layers, you have to wait for at least four hours until it hardens. So I don't like to wait, but well, I have to. As you see, I'm using aluminum foil uh, all around it. It was a bad idea, do not do so. I used some, um, something bendable, some kind of plastic, because plastic, you can release it from um, the hardened resin very well. Um, and aluminum foil, unfortunately not. I struggled with it. I had some areas to repaint, so please do not do that. The next day, so our first layer is fine. Uh, I ran out of my resin, so I'm using the, another brand. It doesn't matter which one you use, whatever you please. And I'm gonna mix, uh, as I said, a couple of colors. I decided to go with a little bit of pink, with a little bit of golden color, like golden metallic acrylic uh, paint, uh, some purple, some dark blue, and some light blue, and I think there was also uh, some teal. So um, I first mix um, quite a big part of resin, then I pour it into little cups, add my colors. It's enough to add just a few drops. Um, as you see, one, two drops is enough. Just mix them all in um, and pour them as you please. After you pour them, you can uh, go ahead um, and mix it already inside the portal. Um, to create the structure, to create uh, the pattern you like. Um, you can do as I did, or you can follow, um, look some videos on pouring and follow whatever uh, people advise to do so. Um, it's all totally fine, uh, just be creative, don't be afraid, uh, just do it. Sealing. Apply the sealant uh, in a thin coat. Do not do too much or it's going to be milky. I'm also going to show you uh, how I placed my stones into resin and in those little triangle structures. Because I didn't do it and just in case you're wondering, it's very easy and straightforward. You're going to see it in a moment. And here we go. So just mix some resin, pour it in, place the stones, ready. So. Um, this is just the beginning of my build. I'm gonna build a whole enclosure. The next video is gonna be about the background and then I'm gonna do also a cold height. And this is our final product. So as I said, if you wanna see me building the whole enclosure uh, in this manner, then well, you're very welcome. See you in the next video. Enjoy, thank you.